Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and in this show we're going to be talking about Git stashes. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in because SE Geek begins now. Alright, in this video we're going to be talking about get stash. So this is a very uh, useful command for stashing away changes that you don't want to commit right at the moment. Say you want to change branches but you don't want to you know pull changes with you um, or you know because you know checking out would you know actually overwrite those uh, changes and you know get won't let you change you can use get stash. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, edit our test um, .txt. So we'll just edit this file and we'll add on five, oops, five. This autocomplete is annoying. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. So we'll save that, close that. So now, if we do a get status, we see that we have one modified file. But we want to go over to our test branch right now, but we don't want to bring over these modifications. What you can do is you can do a get stash. And now that is stashed away and we have, we can do a get status and we see that, oh, everything's clean. So it kind of stashed that away into like a, a kind of a temporary non-committed commit. So it's not committed to any branch, but it's saved away. Now, I want to say one thing about stashes is stashes should be used as just a temporary store for things you intend to commit later, you shouldn't uh, abuse stashes because you know you could get into trouble. You could lose things. These aren't committed work. These are this is like temporary work that you're just kind of stashing away while moving off to another branch. So let's do a get. Um, actually, let's clear this and do a get stash list. So we see we have one stash up there right now. And uh, one thing that we can do, if uh, I think I showed you the get show command before, but uh, get show uh, allows you to kind of look at different get objects. And this time we're looking at stash at zero, that particular stash, and it'll show us the diff of that stash. Now what we can do from this state is we can do uh you think you can think of stash as like a uh as like a uh stack. So you can uh push things onto the stash and you can pop things off of a stash or you can apply things off of a stash. So uh, when you do a stash, it'll push something onto your stash, which is what we just did. So what I can do right now is I can do a get stash pop. And that will pop the stash. And now if we do a get stash list, there's nothing on the stash. But we now have our change file up here. So now if we do a get stash again, it actually pushes that back on the stack. So, what if we did, instead of that, and we'll just do a get clear, and we do a get apply stash. So get, oops, oh, whoops, get stash apply, not get apply stash. Stash apply. Now it applied that stash. Now if we do a get, a get stash list, 
we see that stash is actually still there, but it's applied. So, you know, it's still hanging out in our stashes. So what we could do is, you know, we can do a get stash clear, which will actually clear all of the stashes. So if we had more than one stash, actually, let's do um, just to show demonstrate this. Uh, Jedit test two, and we're just gonna make some stuff in here, and then we're going to get stash. So now, if we do a get stash list, we now have two stashes, which is that temporary work, and we could pop the stash, which would apply those changes that we just pushed on the stash. Uh, we could apply that stash, or if I, we do what I said before, do a get stash clear, get stash list. Now those stashes are gone, and it didn't prompt us when we did a clear. So that's why I said this should be seen as something temporary, because you can get rid of stashes really quickly and they're gone uh i think there's a way you can actually reconstitute a stash that if you've just gotten rid, rid of it maybe with the ref log uh get ref log and yes you can possibly get it back from the ref log maybe maybe I haven't talked to you about the ref log. That's this is usually your last resort where if you screwed something up majorly, you start checking out the ref logs. And here is where you can, you know, find hashes and whatnot to be able to pull things back from oblivion. I would say don't end up here if you can avoid it. Uh I don't deal with the ref log very often, but you know, kind of a warning if you're here, something went horribly, horribly wrong. You lost something. But that said, you know, get stash can be a very useful tool when just, you know, going from one particular, uh, you know, branch to another. So just to show you this, uh, we'll just do a um, get st. So we have this one outstanding untracked files, test two. So we have an untracked file here. Huh. But, well, in any case, that's, well, let's just do a get reset. That's just hard. Oops, hard. Get rid of that and do a, because I think I didn't edit test two really yeah I just created a new file <laughs> so we'll add some stuff and we'll do a get stash we'll do a get co for checkout you know one of the aliases and we'll check out test so now we're on our different branch you can get stash list and see our stash we can actually apply stashes from a different branch I believe this you want to be careful for, with um, just because you know if you when you uh, when you stash something and pop something if you're on a branch that's the same as another branch you can probably you can confuse yourself with this when you think, oh, I'm stashing this and going over there and, you know, things like that. Because when you move from one branch to another, usually you pull your changes with you if they're at the same level. If they're on the same commit, your, you know, changes will come with you. If they're not, a lot of times Git won't let you change branches. But in any case, we could do a get stash. Pop. And that's pops it and now we have that on this branch and we could you know potentially commit it or not or whatnot from there so that's get stashes